We refocus those that are struggling with addictions to get them treatment, not do what the current government is doing, which is just hand out drugs to people struggling with addiction. BC United leader Kevin Falcon saying he'll crack down on violence, crime and drugs if he's elected premier. But experts say his approach is backwards. Uh, this is a really, um, you know, very politically minded plan. It's certainly not based on any evidence. The party's new Safer BC plan focuses on hiring hundreds of additional cops, stopping open drug use and changing sentencing rules to give people convicted of crimes who have substance use disorders, a choice of rehab or jail. Falcon announced the details in downtown Vancouver Tuesday morning. And those that are, have untreated mental health that we see on our streets all the time, we want to make sure we take them off of the streets and, and put them into 24-7 care so they can be properly looked after in a secure environment with psychiatric and medical support. Dr. Paxton Bach with the BC Centre on Substance Use says BC United's plan to force people into treatment goes against the evidence. The coercive care for substance use disorders is not particularly effective. So to spend time talking about how to force people into treatment rather than build a system that actually attracts people and provides them with the care that they are looking for, that they are asking for, it's, it's a focus in the wrong place and it has the potential to do a lot of harm. Law professor Benjamin Perrin says the plan is filled with old ideas. They're going way overboard. They want to hire 500 more police officers. They want to go back and recriminalize everyone in the province who possesses uh, any illicit substance of any quantity. And so it really is a turning back of the page. Falcon says his plan will ensure offenders are punished for minor crimes and create more consequences for drug dealers. And we will make sure that we deal with the shortage of Crown prosecutors in British Columbia to ensure that we have enough people uh, holding people accountable for their crimes. The fact is we do need a better approach, but the problem is the BC United plan is not that better approach. It's just a rehash of a very costly, ineffective, and quite frankly cruel way to deal with people who have mental health and substance use disorders and who are in, experiencing poverty and homelessness. In Vancouver, Kier Junau, City News.